Hey guys, the Met Gala, it's about time. <laughs> so the Met Gala just announced its new hosts and its theme, which is very exciting because bitch, this is my Super Bowl, okay? So the new hosts are Nicholas Gazumtite, <laughs> Anna Wintour, Lynn manuel Miranda, Emma Stone, and Meryl Streep. Meryl fucking Streep! Yay! Meryl fucking Streep! I love my Meryl. She could play Batman, and I'd be like, Oscar. Oscar it is. So I would like to talk to Anna Wintour for a second. She's like, you do? You want to talk to Anna Wintour for a second? You do? Like, so I would like for you to consider perhaps dropping all the other hosts except for Meryl, because that's the only bitch that really fucking matters. But I think it's also bananas that this is Meryl's first Met Gala ever. What? I know, she's never been to a Met Gala before. What the fuck were they doing? How could they still have it? Okay. <laughs> so from the theme, from what I understand, is about, I mean, we have a quote that better explains it than I can. So the exhibition will, <laughs> will consider the the ephemeral, <laughs> the ephemeral nature of fashion, employing flashbacks and fast forwards to reveal how it can be both linear and cyclical, which obviously <laughs> we have no fucking idea what the fuck that means. There needs to be pamphlets explaining these um, th themes because like we're all gonna, we're gonna pull a Carly Kloss. Taffy, what's a Carly Kloss? Last year's theme was camp and Carly Kloss teased the world with this. <gasps> Looking camp right in the eye. Hashtag Met Gala. And I'm like, oh my God, what is she gonna be? It's gonna be insane. This is what she wore. <laughs> camp. <laughs> so I can't blame her though, because I thought when they announced the, the theme camp, I was like, I love summer camp. It is so relatable. Everybody loves s'mores. Everybody loves a lake. Kayaking is sick. You know what I mean? I love making lanyards. Like, thank God I didn't go because I would literally be like, do you get it? I'm a campfire. This is my hair. And I would have to be, you know, I'd have to excuse myself in an Uber sobbing. But I, I also, like, I love the Met Gala so much because I'm such a little slut for a theme. Like, and so me talking about this theme doesn't mean that I'm hating on it because I'm not above it. I'm just not good at it. Taffy, what do you mean you're not good at it? For my birthday, for my birthday, I had a theme. We called it Heaven and Hell. And I put little horns on my head and I thought I did such a good job. And then I came into work and hair and makeup Andrea came up to me and she said, who the fuck did your makeup? That was so fucking awful. Who would do that to you? And I said, I did. And she goes, mm, today we're gonna do a round look. And <laughs> so I tend to go all out and I'm ballsy about it, even if I don't know what I'm doing with latex. And so, but I think I am a great candidate. Anna, I think I'm a great candidate to go to the Met. Why? Because I've been training to embarrass myself my whole life, like in eighth grade. In eighth grade, I was invited to my first Halloween party by my cousin. She was a ninth grader. She was cool. For Halloween, my best friend, Chloe, and I were French maids. We got the tights, fishnets. We got the maid shoes. We got the dusters. We even got the little thing that they wear on their heads, everything. We showed up to the party and no one was dressed up. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. You've made my day, you've made my year. I can't wait to see you again. If you liked what you watched, why don't you just subscribe so we can keep chatting?